uh, so we've got this cool song Saturday Night by The Misfits and uh, it is uh, this is in the genre of uh, horror punk pretty cool I'd never heard of that before so I had to go look it up and uh, the way that it's written it sounds like it's in C sharp which is okay it's no big deal because it is a one six four five song so pretty straightforward like uh, a lot of you know 50s doo-wop kind of songs but just to make things easier to spell I thought I would shift it over to a C so we have uh, C start with our C I will show you here on the C I can play that with uh, simply um, third finger on the third fret second finger on the second fret of the D string open G string and first fret of the B string that makes my C there's 52 ways to murder and then we're going to go to an A minor anyone and that's an open A string uh, second finger on the second fret of the D string third finger on the second fret of the G string and first finger on the first fret of the B string so we have there's 52 ways to murder anyone now to an F F is a little tricky we can play it a bunch of different ways. So we try it like this first. First finger covering the first fret of both the one and two strings. And then second finger on the second fret of the three string. And third finger on the third fret of the D string. And if you can't get that first finger to hold, try it, do it, you can do it just with either um, uh, third finger on the third fret of the, a, of the uh, a string, pinky finger on the third fret of the D string, second finger on the second fret of the G string and first finger on the first fret of the B string so there's a pretty good F right there or if that's more problematic try third finger on the third fret of the D string second finger on the second fret of the G string and first finger on the first fret of the B string and just play those three one and two are the same and they both work as well and then the last chord that we need for this sequence is a G and the G is pretty pretty straightforward. We can play that actually at the G. We can play with one finger here on the third fret if we don't play our five and six strings. So we've got there's 52 ways to murder anyone. One and two are the same, and they both work as well. Come and plead for Amy. So the second line is exactly the same as the first. That is a C to an A minor and then an F and a G, so that will go. I'm coming clean for Amy, Julie doesn't scream as well, and the cops won't listen all night. Again, it's just it's a pretty straightforward um, one, one, uh, six, four, five. And what those numbers mean is if we take the scale of C, uh, C goes, I'll just play the major scale. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, like so. Well, you, those numbers, those, uh, those, uh, those notes have numbers at attached to them. C is 1, D is 2, E is 3, F is 4, G is 5, A is 6, B, uh, B is 7, and C, of course, is 8, and the same as 1. So, uh, so when we talk about uh, a 145 or a 1645, we're basically talking about the names of the uh, of the the notes and the roots of the chords in the in that combination. So the one, of course, in the C is a C. C is one. C is one. So there's my C chord. C D E F G A. C D E F G A. That makes six. So the six is going to be an A. Well, in this case, it's an A minor. That sound pretty? C, there's one, C is one, A minor, that's a six, right? And then we're going to go to our uh, four, which is an F. So C, D, E, F, four is the F, there's, uh, there's the F. And then C, D, E, F, G, uh, G is of course five. So we have one, six, that's an A minor, four, which is an F, and five which is a G and the cool thing about this uh, song too is that it's a sort of a three four bum 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 you can hear it like uh, as you as you listen to it 
one, two, three, one, two, three. Ah, uh, fifty-two ways to murder anyone. One and two are the same, and they both work as well. So you could play it like so. So all I'm playing is the same chords, but I'm articulating them separately. So um, if you were to look at both hands at the same time, it would look like this. So you can move like, see if I can make this. <laughs> Sometimes I have better luck with this. Stuff. So all right. So first note is this, is our C, and we're going to go just do um, three four times. So so you count it like so. One two three. One two three. One two three. One two three. There's 52 ways to murder anyone. And now we shifted, of course, to the A minor, and we're still counting one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One and two are the same, and they both work as well. I'm coming clean for uh, I'm coming clean for Amy. Julie doesn't scream as well. Just won't listen all night. So that pattern um, is a lot of fun, and there are about, I don't know, there's like there probably thousands of songs that have that pattern, that one, six, four, five pattern. But uh, this is kind of a neat uh, application for it because, as I said, horror punk, you know. Uh, also, the way that it's played is with highly distorted, really gravelly uh, chord, you know, big fat chords, and uh, so the uh, the classical guitar here doesn't do much uh, justice to that. But I would recommend uh, listening to the tune to get a really sense of what they're, you know, that sort of their. It's very tongue in cheek. I think they're very, you know, they're not, they don't take themselves too seriously. It's like a fun thing, and I understand that these guys, the Misfits, um, are were sort of the precursor to a lot of more you know, I guess better known uh, punk bands. So uh, so there's no downside, I think, to expanding your your repertoire or your musical knowledge about this kind of stuff. So I have some fun with the Misfits Saturday night. There's 52 ways to murder anyone. One and two are the same, and they both work as well. Come and clean for Amy. Julie doesn't scream as well, and the cops won't listen all night. 